Oh hey, it's Bingley. Um, I'm down in Cornwall, uh, down in a place called St Ives. Um, I want to try and keep keep this vlogging thing going. I'm not very good at it, but we'll keep we'll keep persevering. Um, I don't know how interesting this one's going to be because I'm kind of just walking along a path. But I do have a mission, and my mission today is I'm going to go to a place called Zeno Zeno. Um, there's a there's a place there. There's a, a dairy farm there, and apparently they have really good ice cream. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way there. It's a bit of a trek. Um, I'm going down this this thing. I think it's like the the west coast path, something like coastal path. Um, it's really pretty, um, as you can probably see in the background. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do. It's it's like two and a half hours there. I think it's two and a half hours back. Um, I haven't got a lot of battery on this. I lost my charger. I think I left it in uh, Napoli. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it rolling. I'm going to talk. I'm going to try and film some stuff. Um, this is like this is going to be like my my practice because um, I need to get better at it. Because it's a bit it's a bit daunting when you've got a camera in front of loads of people. But the advantage of this is. I don't see many people around, which is quite nice. So I can just pull the camera out and I can chat away, talk shit. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep keep uh, walking along. Try and maybe. I don't know whether there's anything interesting along here other than the views. I mean, the views are beautiful. I mean, look at that. Not me. That that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, I got up nice and early. Come here. I say nice and early. I go up at like seven. Um, but look, if you look around, there is St. Ives. I don't know, is that zooming in? Yeah, that is zooming in. Zoom in. Look at that. There were some surfers out earlier. I tried to get them on the drone, but uh, I couldn't get no one was no one was catching any waves. Um, they're not as an experienced surfer as me. Um, yeah. So what have I thought about? So St. I so far, so what have I done? Uh, I got here, got the train down. Um, I get, I get like, I get money off like a discounted um, rail travel now, like leisure rail travel. So I thought I'd better use it. And this is why I thought I've never been to Cornwall. I thought I'd give it a go, come down here, see what it's all about. Um, it's all right. It's quite nice. A bit touristy where I am. Um, everything's really expensive too. Uh, hotels okay. Creeks a lot, but. It's cool, it's cool. Hopefully, hopefully today I've got, it is really sunny out, so I put some sun cream on, got factor 50, go for that all day protection, I need it. I might have to reapply a couple of times because my fair skin can't take it. I've worn, I've worn like a, shirt, a, a, like a cream t-shirt today, which is probably a bad choice because I get really sweaty back. Um, my back is pure sweat at the minute, so is my armpits. So when we get to the dairy farm, I might be a little bit embarrassed to take my backpack off. So this is a bit, I'm not sure now. There's, there's a path there. No, there's no path. I don't, this could be like my final entry if I fall off. They'll find this camera and go, he was talking absolute bollocks to the camera, wasn't watching where he was going, and fell off a cliff. I could be like a, I could be a walking vlogger. I could be, I could do like Britain's nicest walks or something. Um, although I'm not very confident in my knees anymore, get a bit old. Um, so when I'm like jumping um, or walking downstairs even, I'm like worried I'm going to roll my ankle or my knee's going to give way. So what happens when you get old? I think my parkour career may be over before it even started. They're gonna have cream scones as well, like Devonshire ones. Devonshire? No, I'm not in Devonshire. Cornwall, Cornish cream. Hopefully they've got some Cornish cream scones I can have. Um, 
and some ice cream. There's a little pub there as well, I think. So, maybe get a few beers in me. Wait to walk back a little bit, a little bit interesting. Hopefully it's not dark, because it is a long while, long walk. But, this is nice, this is pleasant. Don't know what I'm gonna do if I need a shit. I suppose I'll just have to shit behind one of these rocks. I didn't bring that toilet roll though. That's probably, that's a mistake. I have to wipe my ass across the, this, this ground. Um, like a dog, this is me in nature. Shitting, wiping, at one. I ain't seen no seagulls around here. There's loads around near the town. Are they? The seagulls only go where like fishermen and that are. The seagulls not like any nat natural to the to the world. Or are they? Are they drones? Are they another one like like pigeons? Are they spy cameras? The government set out. Hmm. Just want to think about. Oh, just there was all this wet bit. I've got all my shoe. My shoe's all muddy now. Uh, maybe before I go bend every so I might have to get some like walking shoes. Because all I have is like Reebok workout. Well, I used to have Reebok workouts, but I don't do the Reebok workouts that I like anymore. So now I've got nothing. So I'm looking for looking for a new shoe to take over. People are gonna think I'm right scruff bag. They go, oh yeah, muddy shoe. Muddy shoe? Muddy shoe! That's what they'll call me in the town. It's only a small town. They'll call me Muddy Shoe Boy. I'm not really a boy anymore, am I? They'll call me the old man Muddy Shoe. That's what they say, oi, old man Muddy Shoe. Where's your Muddy Shoe? they call me Muddy Shoe. But then he look good. He's got fantastic hair, but his shoes are muddy as fuck. Look at that, wow. I wonder if I'm going to see any seals. There's, I'm walking towards a place called Seal Island. I wonder if I'll be able to see any. If I, hear, if I hear one of them seals call me Muddy Shoe Man, Old Man Muddy Shoe, I'm very, I'm very annoyed. Wow, look at this. Now, I'm just coming around this ridge here, and it is, it is like, it's beautiful, it's like, stunning. Like, when I see stuff like this, I'm going to show you, when I see stuff like this, I feel really, really small. Um, but I, obviously I'm not small, I'm a fat bastard, but I feel really small in the grand scheme of things. So let's have a look at this, uh, check this out, this is, this is incredible. It's just like, when I look at it, I'm like, fucking hell man, I am like so small on this earth, in this universe. There's definitely, um, there's definitely aliens, gotta be aliens. Maybe I'll find an alien today. What do you reckon? I'll keep an eye out. What if aliens do exist, right? And they're already here, but they're invisible, and we don't know they're here. What if there's an alien behind me right now, and I didn't even know about it? What if we're aliens? There's a, there's a couple of, I think they're German. I think they've invaded our shores. Uh, they got some, some of them walking stick things. I think, I think they're after me. They're going to beat me up with the walking sticks. Uh, so I better get a move on before they get me. Um, I won't go down without a fight, but I don't have any sticks. Um, all I've got is a plucky attitude. See, I knew it. Pretty sure that is a symbol for aliens. I told you. What did I say? I said there was aliens here. Right, somebody is proper sketchy, right? And they're coming up behind me now, but there's some people running this. Who the fuck's running this? How you just run, run on the pavement? Look, look at that. You won't want to run off that. Little, just a little trip and boom, you're gone. But they are, they're coming behind me and they're coming quick. Do I join the race? Am I in a race? I don't know. Maybe I'm in a race. Am I winning? I must be winning. But they're going to catch me soon. Oh shit, here they come. Fuck. I stand out of the way so they can run past me. Right. Good morning. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Oh, no chance you would get me running this. No chance. To be fair, you wouldn't catch me, you wouldn't get me running on the pavement. Um, let alone this. Here we go, right. Definite proof of aliens. 
I found it um, not far past that sign back there but here we go this is aliens in Cornwall confirmed I don't know see look at all these rocks in a circle it's not a crop circle it's a rock circle this is a sign to the aliens I wonder if I stand in the middle I'll get any any alien waves come through to me more oh, people running madness do they not know there's aliens here here we go again more old man muddy shoe I just came over that over this little little wall there little queue straight into the mud old man muddy shoe but we are going to do it I'm gonna go hop hop skip jump pirouette backflip so no, let's go yoop yoop uh, yoop where's the backflip let's do the backflip you can't tell if I can oh, I'm doing it oh no oh fuck's sake oh. I nearly had it I nearly oh shit I nearly had it fuck's sake old man muddy shoe again oh, fuck's sake where am I going to go now oh I'm stuck Right, let's try this way. I wonder if people put these stones here. I jumped at that one. Oh, straight in. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Fuck. I've really. Oh, Jesus. It's all in me. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Old man muddy shoes. Not just a shoe, old man muddy shoes. My feet are wet now. Oh, I'm so confident in my ability. But that's what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta be confident and go, right, I am gonna absolutely annihilate whatever I'm gonna do, whatever it is in life. Whether it's, you know, jump in some rocks, or it's, I don't know, other inspirational stuff. Who knows, who cares, who cares? Anyway, I'm talking shit still. Um, all right, let's keep going. Hopefully, my shoes will dry out in a minute. I've just seen this sign here says cattle beware for the next two and a half kilometers hopefully i'm not going to have to punch a cow in the face to prevent him from pushing me over the over the cliff edge um but i just got it got me thinking still with the aliens there's don't cow don't like aliens abduct cows they they or they like experiment on them or do stuff like that to them it's it's all the you know the dots are connecting it's all lining up this is an alien hotspot. This is Area 51 of the UK. Um, we've had we've had rock circles. We've had alien, alien little alien signs. Now, cows. Uh, so, be on the lookout. This could be I could be the first person to uh, confirm aliens in Cornwall. <laughs> So you're probably getting a bit bored of me just sort of walking along this path showing showing the scenery but I have to I just can't I'm gonna, I need to keep filming this because it is absolutely stunning and what a beautiful day it is I can't I can't not have like memories of this you know I've got to um, capture it I've got to put it in a video um, I know there's gonna be a lot of rambling and me talking bollocks but uh, the whole like, the whole point of me doing this is so that I have something to look back on and say yeah I, I did that and yeah I went there and wow what an amazing what an amazing place that is you know so this is a uh, it might be a little bit boring than that but wow just check that out look at that incredible well here we go there's a sign here for the coast path Zenor three miles St Ives 3.5 miles that way so I'm over halfway now um, but I swear I've been going for ages but like, thinking about it yeah, I'm not going to walk this back surely there's got to be a bus from Zeno back to St Ives 
There's got to be something. This is tricks. I don't really want to do this later. It's nice and all, but I kind of just want to have my ice cream, have a beer, then uh, get back. Um, so I don't really still want to be walking back to freaking St. Ives at like nine o'clock tonight. Um, so we'll have to see how this goes. But it's got to be a bus, surely. Or I could ride a cow, maybe. Maybe they'll let me milk a cow, and the cow and me will, will form a bond that is like no other. And the, the people who own the cow will say, wow, that cow, that cow's never liked anyone before, but he seems to really like you, and you're, the way you, you fondle its teats. Um, and, they're, and, they're, and they'll let me have the cow. Um, and I will ride the cow back through the through the, the country lanes of Cornwall back to St Ives, bareback on my on my cow, my trusty steed. Um, I don't. It might happen. We can always hope, can't we? We can always dream. Dream big. That's what I say. Dream big. Have a cow. See, this is what I was talking about. Unfenced cliff area, keep to path. You do not want to fall down there. No sirree, I am sticking to the path me. I follow the rules. So I'm just walking through this bit now. Now, so you know what, I'm okay with heights. I'm not bad with them, as long as I know I'm safe, but there's like this, there's this like bit there that's like, looks like there's definitely been a rock slide there. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm walking along it. I've just seen a sign that says, be careful. Um, I got a little bit panicky there. I thought maybe, do you know what, this could be, it would be an absolute freak accident, but I'll be involved in a landslide. And, oh, I shit myself a little bit there. I don't know what's the matter with me. Um, it's like, I, could, like, I don't know. I didn't want to, uh, I'm too young to die. I don't, don't want to go out like that. Everybody, people were like, oh, how did he die? Uh, he was in a he was in a landslide. I mean, it sounds cool, but like, oh, what was he doing? Was he like, was he rock climbing? Was he snowboarding? And you know, you know was he was he conquering Mount Everest? No, no, he was on his way to get some ice cream, and uh, and he fell. Okay, so I'm through through that section. That's like that's like landslide territory. It's like a landslide hotspot. I'll show you. Look at that, see? See how slopey that is? That's ready to go any minute. Look at that, see, look, it's already gone over there. This bit could go any moment. Hurry up, people, quick, run. So how about this? Um, do you know what? I've actually run out of battery on my main camera. I've had to switch, switch to the GoPro. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure, because I can't see it, what kind of shot I'm getting, uh, but yeah, wow, that's incredible. I've never used my camera, my main camera, so much that I've run out of battery. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna continue with this vlogging malarkey, I'm gonna have to get myself some more batteries, aren't I? Yeah, but I thought I'd, you know, it's good that I've got a little backup here with the GoPro. Look, check that out. Look, again, see that bit there? It's like cut out where it's like fallen. The path goes up there and over the top of that. Oh, I don't like these bits. Check that out. So I've been like clambering up and down rocks for ages just now. This is a bit of a, a bit of a tougher, tougher walk than I expected. I don't think it's. I think it's more of a hike than a walk. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty, pretty rough going. I think I'm gonna have to get some walking shoes. You know, my, uh, my Reeboks ain't quite. They're not quite doing it. It's still beautiful. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is a tough walk. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this going back. I'm going to have to get a bus. It's got to be. If not, uh, hitchhike, maybe. There's no, there's no hitchhiker murderers in Cornwall, is there? I don't know. Made it. Made it all the way. Quite a nice little shop. Look at that. Little shop. Little gift shop. Got my ice cream. I'm gonna ask a minute if I can milk a cow. Well, there we go. 
I've just done the done the walk from St Ives to Zeno. I got myself an ice cream, uh, had a beer, uh, didn't get to milk a cow unfortunately. Um, I might have to, you might have to know someone, like in the know, to be able to get a, to be able to milk a cow. But, I don't know, we'll, we'll find somewhere, we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen, don't worry. Um, so now I'm just going to walk to the bus stop, because I am definitely not going to walk that back. That was, that was quite challenging actually, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, so I'm definitely not doing it on the way back, I'm going to jump on the bus. Strange question, but there's a cow farm here, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. 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 Cow farm. Like, oh, a cat, a a, yeah. Is there anywhere I can milk a cow? I've always wanted to milk a cow. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's okay. It's a bit of a weird one, but I mean, it's like on my bucket list of sure things to do. Yeah.